Hey, what's up guys? It's Jacob here. Welcome back to another reaction video. I'm giving my opinion as a rugby player on the 11th best player in the NFL for the year of 2019 slash 2020. His name's Julio Jones, although the first time I read it, I didn't know that. In fact, I called him Julio Jones with utmost confidence. There's no way in hell I looked at that name thinking that was a silent J. And just before we get into this, in fact, it's probably going to be part of the intro on every single Julio Jones video I do. We're going to go back to that very moment. I, I believe it was the top 10 fastest NFL players in the league as a highlight video, which I found on YouTube, gave my reaction to, and it was the first time I'd ever laid eyes on Julio Jones. So let's have a quick look at that before we, uh, before we begin. We've got the Julio Jones video there, uh, but we will go, look at all these, Rugby Player Reacts 2. Mm, top 10 fastest players. There she goes. Two years ago, guys, Rugby Player Reacts to the 2017 NFL Top 10 Fastest Players YouTube video. <laughs> Good times. Let's go. Alright, guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. We are about to watch the Top 10 Fastest Players in the NFL 2017. Who was that guy? That was two and a half years ago. Over, just over two and a half years ago, man. And I'm still here. We're all still here. It's fucking unbelievable. All right, let's find... Oh, we've got Tyler Lockett. Oh, we've got T.Y. Ted Jin Jr. We've got T.Y. Hilton. We've got Tyler Lockett, who I do know. Uh, we've got Julio... Julio Jones, there he is. Let's go. Look at the defend, look at the uh, the blocker, sorry. Nice. Nice. Julio Jones. 11.13 high school. Well, I guess they don't really time the 100 meters, do they? Oh, he's got some big strides, the big man. Look at him go. He's probably about six foot five or something. He looks like a big guy. Oh, we get another one. Yes. Bro, these things that I said just then are, are going through my head at the exact same time that I said them. Like, literally, when we, when we get another shot, when we see another run from Julio, I'm like, yes, we get another one. When I saw him stride out just then, I thought, fuck, his strides are very long. And then I went and said it. It's like, I am the same guy. I am. I haven't changed. Come on, go big man, put fins him off. Go son. Oh, what a try. That is some impressive speed. It's not called a try, it's called a touchdown, but let's go back. That was fun. Julio Jones. Not quite. He's the best I've ever seen. Uh, he looks like a freak. He's the best I've ever seen. I'm serious. He's so explosive, he got no weaknesses. He's got my respect, no doubt. Do you have any receivers that you watched? I mean, definitely best in the game. Definitely Julio. Who's your favorite wide receiver to watch? I watch a lot of Julio. He's a beast. Man, that dude's a dog. He is a dog. He's just a true dog. He's like a, like a real life alien almost. Uh, he looks like a freak. He really has every <laughs> trait that any receiver has from small to big. It's your game. It's Julio. Even his eyes, bro, his eyes. He's got eyes like no one else in the league. And he is, he is a beast. This is absolutely insane here. Unbelievable. Some of the stuff he's able to do is just, it's a mommy daddy thing. <laughs> God gave him the ability. Out of bounds, they say a catch. Really on Jones. I want to see a replay on this. Miraculously, he did get it. With that, he got the work ethic, like, he ain't got no food on his plate. He knows how to separate his job from his life. And that's something I've always respected about him. Definitely lead by example. Yeah, I must say, we hear absolutely nothing of Julio Jones's personal life. Which, I will say, the best of the All Blacks rugby players is, is exactly the same. It's, it's, it's a complete and utter separation from their professional sporting life and their personal life. And I think that is healthy. This is Leo Jones, he come and work every day, so how am I going to come and put my best foot forward every day? And not only that, you see it as your job. You know you are 
being judged every single day. You know there's young guys coming up every single day that want to take your food off of your family's plate. And that's the attitude you've got to have. Now rugby players are competing for, you know, the best of the best rugby players might be competing for a million dollars per year. Whereas these guys are competing for what? 20 million a year? It's a bit different. It's a bit different. But the fact remains the same, you know, the, the guys at the top of their game, the guys who are the legends, really, really well respected and, you know, have been in the league, who are veterans, who've, who've lasted in the league, not been in the league, actually lasted in the league. So it's not, it's not easy to stay in the, the NFL, is it? It's not easy, especially not as a skilled position. But let's continue. Last year, only one of the top 17 leading receivers entered the season over the age of 30, Julio Jones. Only one. Look at that. 2019 NFL receiving yards leaders. Which ones have we seen so far? We haven't, okay, we haven't seen Michael Thomas. We've seen Julio now. Chris Godwin, I think we've seen him. Travis Kelsey, we've seen him. Keenan, we've seen him. Amari Cooper, yes. Jarvis, DeAndre Hopkins, no. Cooper Cup, yes. Mike Evans, yes. Darren Waller, he was one of the first guys actually. Stefan Diggs. There's a couple there we haven't seen. I'm not sure that they're going to be in the top 10, but what a list. What a list. In year number nine, Look at the smile on the guy. Second only to Michael Thomas. Julio, Mike Thomas, uh, Mike Evans. It's a toss up, man. Uh, me, Chris <laughs> Godwin, Michael Thomas. Julio's always in there, too. Julio's always in there. Julio just set the Falcons franchise receiving record. On a 15-yard touchdown catch. He the best. He the best, hands down. Best receiver in the game. Nobody messing with Julio. Let's check him out. Okay. Bam, bam. Okay. Right Fuck, now. I love Darius Slay. That's going to take the shot for Julio. Over the shoulder catch. My goodness. His route running. Look, I don't even care if he got caught on. I love Darius Slay, and I love his... his I hope he has no off-field antics that are going to ruin my opinion of him. But as far as Darius Slay, as far as his attitude in this series, you know, nothing beats it. He's always got a smile on his face. And he's always amped for everyone else having success. I absolutely love it. This gives him a big advantage of his opponents. A lot of guys are great route runners, but it's a difference when you see Julio because you feel him. You be like, okay, he's climbing on me. Julio's climbing on me. Oh, man. I'm going to tell you what, it takes a big man to genuinely be happy for another man that is having more success than him. It takes a big person to genuinely feel that. You can say you feel that, but do you genuinely feel that? Are you genuinely happy with what you're doing and where you are in life enough, content enough, and happy enough, and at peace enough to genuinely try and lift someone else up that's doing better than you? then try and bring them down to your level. Now that is a good question. Think about that. We have a big, big problem with that in New Zealand. It's called tall poppy syndrome. Every defense that goes against him knows that they have to know where he is on the field because at any moment he can go off and make a big play. In 2019, number 11 became the fastest player in NFL history to reach 11,000 yards receiving. Best receiver still, and he has to go. Yeah, he ain't messed with yet. Not yet. And the thing about it is, he ain't not arrogant about it, but he know he the best. He's the best I ever trained. I'm serious. No weakness is in his I want to hear him talk. Yeah. Oh my God. What do we got here? We've got the king. It's Derek Henry. I'm not going to say any more, actually. I want to get into this. I've got to shut this thing off. Um, Julio Jones, do we look at his, do we look at his stats? Do we look at his stats? Why not? I want to know how long he's been in the league. For some reason I reckon it's about 12 years. He's got 11,000 yards now. He's been in the league since 2011. He's made seven Pro Bowls. Two-time NFL receiving yards leader. Two first-team All-Pro selections. Three second-team All-Pro selections. He now has not only 11,000 receiving yards, but almost 13,000. He's got 12,896 receiving yards in the regular season, plus 834 receiving yards for the postseason. So this guy, this guy is not done by any length of the imagination. In fact, I reckon at this point, Julio has just passed the halfway point of his career. I reckon he's gonna be around until he's at least 37, 38. He's six foot three, he's 100 kg. He's a Falcons player. 
and he most likely will be for the rest of his career. If he is, I'm happy for him. If he does get traded away, well, that's just the way it works. What was his last deal that he signed? September 7th, 2019, he signed a three-year, $66 million extension, making him the highest paid wide receiver in the league. Okay, so he's staying. In the next one, guys, we've got Derek Henry. Need I say more? Probably not. He is the most devastating uh, running back at the moment. People just don't know how to deal with him. He is that big, that much bigger than most running backs that people just do not know what to do. He's a mid four fives, 40 yard dash, but he's six foot three and a half and 250 pounds. And when I think about a running, dynamic, just steamrolling running back, or what could have been a steamrolling running back, I think of Jonah Lomu. I really do. As far as Derek Henry, as far, you know, Jonah Lomu was the hybrid of Derek Henry and DK Metcalf. And when you think about that, just, just imagine what type of player he was. You know what I mean? He was my hero. And I know that Derek Henry is going to be a hero to a lot of guys coming up. And I also know that any wide receivers coming up, Julio Jones will be your hero. So that's what these guys are. They're heroes. They're absolute heroes. You know what I mean? Sporting, sporting heroes. And with that in mind, they do have a massive responsibility to be good people, to use their platform for good. And I suppose, and I suppose I tend to think the same kind of things for myself and my platform. As long as you are using it for good, to make change, positive change, it's all worth it. And with that being said, that's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, if you're a Julio fan, please hit that like button. If you're excited that we're in the top 10, definitely hit that like button. And to be honest guys, even in the top 20, I've seen you know some view counts on, on some of these videos, probably the lesser known guys, or the less spectacular guys of you know under 300,000, under 250,000. Derek Henry has almost a million views on his video. A million views. That's saying something. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night. Peace out.